In this micro nugget, we're going to take a look at how we can learn the subnet address just by looking at the host IP address on a computer. Let's begin. I'd like you to join me as we look at a router interface. We'll do a show interface for gig 1 slash 0 on this Cisco router. And as we take a look at this IP address right here, it's 43.17.255.71 with a slash 27 mask. Now, as we already know, this IP address has two major components. There's a network portion on the left, and there's a host address on the right. But the question is, because it's not on an even octet boundary, we have a slash 27, what is the actual subnet that this computer is sitting on? How do we go about reverse engineering to discover what the actual subnet is that this host is connected to? And that, my friend, is the objective for this micro nugget. So here are the steps we can follow to reverse engineer it. So there's the actual IP address. We know that the first three octets are all going to be network because we have a slash 27. So the first 24 of the subnet are going to be 43, 17, 255, and then we need to slice and dice that last octet. So we're going to use this chart up here to represent, in our example, this is the fourth octet of this customer's IP address. The steps we'd follow to reverse engineer what subnet this customer is on is first of all identify the block size. Now that's done not by looking at the IP address but rather by looking at the mask. This slash 27 has the first 24 bits of the mask on plus an additional 25, 26, 27 up to this point right here. So a slash 27, the dividing line, that fourth octet is right between the 32 and the 16. And the block size is actually the value of the least significant bit of the mask. So the least significant bit of the mask is 32. That is our block size, and that's our first step. Now, what does that mean, Keith? It's 32. Who cares? Well, the cool thing is that 32, that block size, is the value of our subnets. Our subnets are going to be subnet 0, and then we're simply going to add 32 for the block size. So 32, and then 32 more, which would be 64, and 32 more to be 96, and we just continue adding. So these are our subnets. So the question is, where does 71 fit into this picture? Is it between 0 and 32? The answer is nope, it's not on the 0 subnet. Is it between 32 and 64? The answer is nope, it's not on the 32 subnet. But it is between 64 and 96. See, the valid range for the 64 subnet is going to be 65, which is one more than the subnet value through, and we're going to take the next subnet minus 2. So the range is going to be 65 through 94, and that's exactly where this host address is sitting. So in measurable terms, this IP address with that mask is sitting on subnet 64. And those are the steps we just took. We listed out the subnets and then found out where that host fit inside of that range. Now, truth be told, there is one other method that we could use to determine what subnet that is if we're looking at a Cisco router, and that's because this router is directly connected to that network. If we did a show IP route like that, that would be yet another way to confirm that, sure enough, that really is the 43.17.255.64 subnet that it's directly connected to. In this micro nugget, we've looked at the three step process for taking a host IP address and mask and reverse engineering out of that the actual subnet that that host is sitting on. I appreciate you joining me. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.